Thank you, Ali, and welcome to the post-match presentation of the first game from Bay Park presents Golutlo Pakistan versus South Africa T20 series. And what a game we've had. Went down to the wire and eventually the home side claiming their first win in the series and making it one up, winning this match by five wickets. Before we give away the awards, I'd like to uh, welcome our special guest today, Mr. Madi Kiza. He's High Commissioner of South Africa. Thank you for joining us, sir. And I'll request you to please step forward to give away the Golutlo Player of the Match Award. It's trophy and cash award of 100,000 rupees. And that goes to uh, Tasmin Brits for her 78. Of just 64 deliveries today, that had nine boundaries and a maximum. Brilliant performance from her, helping the side to get to 150 batting first. We also have a quick word with her. Brilliant batting. When you guys uh, lost the toss, came out to bat, had a score in mind what you want to end up at the end of 20? Not really, to be honest, because we weren't 100% sure with what the pitch would do. So we said once we're in, we'll actually analyze and assess it, and then from there, we'll make a target. Speaking of the pitch, 48 in the power play, you guys were happy and got hold of the proceedings, how it's working out there when you bat? Yeah, it's one of our better power players is Wolfie and I, but I do think we should maybe push on a bit more. I mean, now we have a more or less an idea of what the pitch actually does, so I think there's a lot more runs in that wicket. Result didn't go your team's way, but in, as an individual, as a batter, you satisfied the, the outing that you've had today and you feel that now you're fairly okay with the, the situation and the circumstances and the conditions outside. Now, funny enough, I don't think I am. Um, half a century, of course, I'd always want that on a bucket list, but there's a lot of shots I've played where I didn't get the ball away. I mean, hit my body often, so I do think I should you know, convert those things more into, run, into runs or to singles or to maybe boundaries where it was more dot balls that I faced. Hard luck as a team, but congratulations on the Player of the Thank Match you. Award. and well done to Pakistan. All right, now I'd like to uh, invite the captain of South Africa Women, Laura Clean, please join us over here. I'll start off with the same question when I was asking Brits. 150, were you satisfied halfway through that this is good enough? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think we started well with the bat. Uh, we were looking at quite a big score, and then it got a bit more difficult as we were going on, so we thought 150 would be, would be good enough. First outing out of the way, what would be the learning factor from this game to take forward in the series? I think we um, just overall didn't execute as well as we could have um, in all aspects of the game. Um, I think we could have finished better with the bat and then I thought we started well with the ball but then lost our way a little bit after the drinks um, and then let them in a bit too close to, to try and restrict at the end there. So we'll definitely have a look at everything and hopefully learn for the next game. Good thing is to see the stronger parts of today's game with Brits getting a good score out there and you also started very well, got a good power play. Yeah, uh, Tasman batted really well there. Um, I think I could have supported her a bit better, maybe uh, go a bit faster up front since she was playing more of the anchor role and batted through the innings. Um, but yeah, very, very happy that she's in the runs today. Hard luck today, but lots of games to go. Good Thank luck. As the captain of South Africa, now I'd like to invite Anida Dar to please come and join us. First win for Pakistan women here in this uh, three-match series. <laughs> Nida, congratulations as captain and, of course, the team winning. Uh, when you look at this match, 150, you decided to chase. Were you happy that this is gettable? I think so. The, wickets, uh, the kind of wicket we have, I already uh, watched the wicket and this, it, it was a batting wicket, but still we believe that um, bowling attack of spin and uh, fast bowlers is pretty good. But still, uh, you know, uh, our batters back in, back, backed up with really very well and I'm just, I'm very confident of my team that they can get 150 or 60 anytime. What, what would be that one key factor as a captain to use? that you'd say helped you win this match today? I guess the confidence of the girls and the intent they actually showed from upside, uh, from, you know, from the openers. And I guess the, the intent, it was the key. And I'm really, very really happy for that because it, it is, we, uh, we know you, you, this is now the right direction to move on. A few changes in the batting order also helped that you, know, you came in earlier and then sent Alia for the big hits and tried that out. Definitely, and uh, we changed Muniba as well because we want a uh, righty-lefty uh, combination as well. I think uh, it worked really well. Always good to start off on a winning note in a three-match series, so you just need one more. Definitely, it's a very good start. I'm really, very really happy about my team and totally confident about my team. Inshallah, they will go very well. Well, great chase and have fun. Thank good you. win. Nedadar, the captain of Pakistan, and that also concludes the presentation.